What's up everybody, Mike McIntyre here and I'm back with a brand new video. In front of me here I have the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350s in the Zebra colorway. This is the third overall release of this shoe. They have been dropped twice before the initial release, then the first restock. This is the second restock. I was lucky enough to get my hands on a pair. Not sure if I'm keeping these yet, so if you guys are interested, just leave me a comment down below. Let me see what you guys think. But I'm going to show you these shoes today really, really quickly. We'll slip them on feed, do a little quick little unboxing and review, and that'll be today's video. So, thanks for stopping by. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so, box is fairly simple. You have 350 on the top, boost over here. You have all the information on this side, and it's a little slide-out box on the side. We're going to take everything out of the box. So. Okay guys, so there's a quick look at the Zebra Yeezy Boost 350s. These are a very clean looking shoe. I've always liked the way they look. They are popular. They were one of the most popular and at one point the most sought after pair of Yeezys when the Zebras first came out way back in the initial release in February of 2017. These were popular. Everyone wanted a pair of these. It was one of the first designs to really show off the sort of uh, pattern that you see going on here, this wavy pattern between the two colors. And then of course, uh, it really popped with this stripe down the side and the supply that we did see before but again it was the first one that really really went crazy with this sort of zebra pattern that we came to see on a couple of models after that as well. Because of the contrast between the two, obviously black and white, it was really popular, they're very vibrant, they're very flashy, they really are sort of an out there kind of shoe and again they were just really really popular. There are a few tweaks between the first release and this one. If you check out some pictures of the first one, I never got my hands on the actual first release, but the sole was a little bit different. The midsole is all the same here. It's a very nice creamy sort of white finish, but the outsole along the bottom was more of a yellowy tint. I think this one actually looks better. It's more of a uniform sort of color between the two here. So the midsole is white, the outsole is a little bit darker. There's a very subtle difference there. You can see it on the back piece right there. So you have the white and then the sort of middle color right there. But for the most part, it's really not that different. I think it actually looks better. I think it's just a cleaner overall look. So this, the sole doesn't look as yellowy as on some of the other models. I think it really, really looks good overall. The heel tab's the same. Some people have mentioned that the Spli 350 writing right here is a little bit paler, I suppose. It's not this deep, dark red finish. It's a little bit more of a towards the orange side of things. It still looks red, but it's just not as deep and as dark as on the initial release. Again, I never had the first pair myself, so it is hard to sort of compare the two. But those are some of the rumors I've heard. Other than that, there's nothing that's changed. Super popular, very, very cool looking Yeezy 350. Uh, the materials are quite simple. Everyone sort of knows what they're made out of by now. You have a very thick sort of substantial prime knit making up the upper. You obviously have a boost midsole uh, wrapped around in this sort of Yeezy pattern. I'm not really sure what to call it. You can see the cutout for the boost right here. Midsole down there. Um, and a very, very cool looking shoe. There's not much to it. You have your heel tab here. Laces, obviously. They are a very comfortable shoe. I have two pairs myself. They do take a little bit of time to break in. I did mention in one of my first videos that they're not as comfortable as sort of the prime knit material that you'll find on a pair of nmdr ones Those are a little bit softer, a little bit looser, and a little bit more flexible from out of the box. This is a very thick prime knit, so it does does take time to sort of stretch and form your foot, it softens up a little bit, but you have to wear them. The more I wear them, the more comfortable they get. As far as step-in comfort goes, that boost material that along the uh, midsole and outsole is fantastic. It really is comfortable and it's one of the most comfortable shoes I've ever put on from just stepping in right away. But again, they might feel a little bit tight on you uh, just because of that thick sort of substantial prime knit upper. So wear them, walk in them, use them. That's what a sneaker's for, I always say that. The more you use them, the more comfortable they get. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's all for the unboxing and review part. I'm going to slip them on feet, show you guys what these things look like, and stay tuned for the next part of the video. So there's a quick look at the Yeezy 350 Boost on feet in the Zebra colorway. Again, this is one of the most popular colorways. There are a lot of them out there now. And if you don't have a pair and you really want a pair and you're looking on the resale market, the prices aren't nearly as bad as what they were when they first dropped because they were so limited upon the first release and they were very, very popular. Prices were insane. They're a lot easier to get, much more reasonable in terms of price. They're just a little over retail to be honest. Um, so if you are interested in a pair for yourself, you can find them at reasonable prices. I think they're one of the most comfortable shoes that you can possibly get as far as step in comfort goes with regards to the boost material. But again, walk in them, use them. They are a very substantial upper. There's a lot of prime knit going on 
and they do take a little bit of time to break in. So as far as sizing goes, a lot of people are a little bit conflicted with that. A lot of people recommend going up half a size. Uh, definitely do that if you're concerned. I think that's a smart move because you don't need these things to fit super tight. They are a casual sort of walking shoe, style shoe, lifestyle shoe. So you don't need them to be super tight. You want them to be loose, you want them to be comfortable. But for me, I honestly think that true size fits me fine. I have enough space in the forefoot. I have enough room everywhere else. They're comfortable, they fit me well. That's why I keep saying to use them because the upper material is substantial. Just use them, wear them, wear them all day, every day, if you know what I mean. And they'll feel a lot better. I'm fine with my true size. My other two pairs, I've worn them, I use them, I wear them a lot, and they've softened up, and they're a great pair of sneakers for me to wear, and they're super comfortable, I can wear them all day. So, I say go true to size, but if you are concerned, it doesn't hurt to go up half a size, you will have that extra little bit of room. At the end of the day, like I mentioned before, I'm not sure I'm gonna keep these. Um, if you are interested, these are a US size eight. Leave me a comment down below, let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm not giving them away, okay, waiver, I'm not gonna give them away, but if there's someone out there that is interested, maybe we could work out a deal or something, work out a price. So if you are interested, you can message me on Instagram. Uh, you can find my link down below in the description. Send me a message, maybe we can work out a deal or something. I'm not giving them away, but uh, if you are interested, leave me a comment, send me a message, let's see what we can do. That's the Zebra Yeezy 350s. Dope shoe, they are very popular. I still like the way they look. I think they're a classic. They're probably the iconic Z Yeezy 350 V2 model in my opinion, and that is pretty much it. So thanks for stopping by, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, there's more videos coming. We have a lot of great content coming, and as always, Mike McIntyre, all things sports, signing off for now, peace.